Here is a piece of joyful mathematics. You can see a 3 by 3 matrix which I have drawn here. Let me write some numbers on the right hand side. So on the right hand side here, let's write 343 here and then I will write a 66 here and a 44 here. On the bottom here, I will again write some numbers. Let's have a 28 here, uh, 154 here and 231 here. Now I have to fill these boxes using some prime numbers so that when I multiply these three numbers, I should get 343. Multiply these three, you get 66. Multiply these three, you get 44. And likewise, multiply column wise, you get 28, 154 and 231. How do you solve this puzzle now? So if you see 343 on the right hand side and 28 at the base, 28 is an even number and this 343 exactly is 7 cube, 7 into 7 into 7. And this also has 7 as a common factor. So you just need to list down the common factors. So for this cell, which is the intersection of 343 and 28, there is only one common factor, 7. And now 343 can only be obtained when you multiply 7 times 7 times 7. And 28 can only be obtained when you have 7 times 2 times 2. So 2 and 2, you can write anywhere here. And these cells are filled. Now we need to take care of the numbers here. Now, if you see this number one, 231 and this number 44, they have a common factor 11 and they don't have a common factor 2. And therefore, these two will surely have a 11 here, which is a common factor. And now 11 times 2 is 22. How do I get 44? I have to put a 2 here and rest of it is very easy because you just have to take 7 times 11, which is 77 and 231 divided by 77 will give you a 3 here. And 66 means 3 2s are 6, 66 divided by 6 is 11 here and that completes our prime factor matrix. Isn't that an amazing game?